Okay, so Snow, who I've been training since she was a little puppy, is not a puppy anymore. She's now starting her teenager period, which is extremely defiant. And just like us, is when. Eh, eh, eh. See? They try to do whatever they can. She really wants to do whatever they can, whenever she wants. Like, walk, bark, and the problem is that um, because she just walking wherever uh, in front of her owner, uh, she starts to be a little bit more fearful and anxious, so she starts to act, do this. She starts to bite me if I ask her to do a command, which is a huge no-no in my book. Uh, she barks. Um, sit. Um, and she starts to be like a protector, which makes her be more reactive. Sit! So, when they come to like a year, a year and a half, it's really important to do some work to put them in the right mindset and remind them that they're not in charge, we're in charge, and we don't need them to protect us, we can protect them. So, we'll do a few things. Let's start. In order to not make them reactive to other dogs, other people, we need to make sure that they know that we don't need protection. So if we sit behind them and someone is coming, it can be another dog, it can be another person, they will jump and bark to protect. So we need to start ourselves being the right mindset and we need to sit in front of them. If we sit in front of them, they know that we can protect them. Obviously, it's gonna take lots of repetition. So start, just, when you walk your dog and your dog, and you stop and it, the dog sits, just stand in front of your dog. Come on, sit. And I sit in front of her. Pretty easy. In order for the dog to not walk ahead of us, pull us all over, go from left to right, which is very dangerous because we can just fall. Believe me, ask me how I know. We need to do directional change. That means that whenever the dog pulls ahead of us, we change the direction to the other side. Now, in order to do that, obviously it's best to do it with the front collar. You can do it with whatever, as long as it's not a harness. It's a little bit much more dangerous to do it with any color that's flat color or a martingale. But if you do that, make sure that the color is snug and it's just below the ears. Not here, extremely dangerous. Whenever you train or walk your dog, this is not when we want the color. This is where we want the color. So let's do that. So, Because we trained in the past, sit, and she saw my back, immediately she got into the right mindset, oh, I can't pull, I need to follow him, I need to walk with him. That's the good thing about always training your dog. What they need is just a quick reminder and they are in the right mindset. Remember, a dog that pulls will run to the road, will get fucked by cars, will jump on people and everything. It will not sit as beautiful as this when you stop. Okay, impulse control is really important uh, when they're puppy and when they're teenagers. So a dog is very impulsive animal. They do whatever they want, whenever they want. If they want to sniff, they go sniff. If they want to eat, they go eat. If they want to jump, they go jump. So when they get to be uh, teenagers, it's even worse because they're very defined. We want to control 
their impulse in order to establish leadership, make them more relaxed and not <laughs> crazy dogs all over the place. Everything that we do is in order for them to be calm, relaxed and awesome dogs. When you don't do that, that's when you see those dogs that barks at everything, pull your leash, no matter if they're big or, or small, if they're cute or not cute, they're like <laughs> all over the place. So we don't want it because it's not fun and it's not fun for the dog. So I have treats, she loves treats, she loves treats. I put her on a seat, she knows that I have the, the treats. Because it's boring for her, she goes to a down by herself. She's not just uh, 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 all over. That's a good dog. So I'm gonna throw the treat, but I'm not gonna let her go to the treat. Nope. Good girl. And I give her a treat for not going to the treat. I'm gonna do it again. Good girl. Not only she's extremely relaxed, calm, and awesome, she will not go immediately to do something she wants. She can go in the street and just go and grab a piece of meat or a piece of shit. She won't. Another uh, impulse control reel is with a toy because some dogs are not food motivated, so they wouldn't give a fuck if you throw food, they will not go to the food, but they're very toy motivated. This little girl is everything motivated. She's motivated, but whatever is fun or food or toy, everything. So after we did the food and she was amazing. And by the way, I did it when she was a puppy. I started doing it with her when she was a puppy. There's a video for that as well. Toy. She really wants the toy. She likes the toy, as you can see. Yes. So we get her pumped up on the toy and then sit. Good girl. And that's how it works. Okay. Only when I give the okay, she can go and play with the toy. Good girl. Snow, come here. Did you see she live? She live it. That's it. Good girl. I pick it up. Usually a dog would just jump on it and start. But now she's in the right mindset because we worked on a few things. So she's very calm. She's not jumping all, all over it. 